Hey, howdy, hello. We got the blue glow going on tonight. I'm in the Red Hut. I'll show you where that blue glow is coming from. Some rows of, uh, some strings of LEDs. They're having a strange effect on my camera. Anyhow, welcome. Thanks for joining me on the Fit and Free Show. I'm here for a quick neck stretch. It is, uh, getting late. I'm winding down from a long work day. Still in my work clothes, and uh, that's a good time to remind you there's no, there's not one way, and it doesn't take any special outfit or any special moves <sighs> to at least take a deep breath and let it go, let go of some stress, and maybe check in with your body, do a little moving, a little stretching, a little stretching, stre strengthening, a little stretching. <laughs> uh, that's what I'm going to do in this region here. So just uh, relax in the neck. You might be able to see there's a lot of tension there. One, one thing we tend to do is this action. So first of all, I'm going to root myself into my sits bones and then into the center of the earth, kind of tipping forward on the, on the pelvis, looking for a nice long and straight line through the core, supported with the abdomen and the spine. Give it a, just a little jiggling around, loosening things up. And I'm going to wiggle the shoulders back and forth, up and down a little bit. And then I'm going to sort of connect myself mentally to the center of the sky, connect myself mentally to the center of the earth somewhere. Again, it's really just a, a mental, uh, quick kind of rooting sensation. Whatever, whatever works for you is fine. The idea is just to feel a little more grounded, a little more connected to the uh, earth and the universe. <sighs> Let's do a couple shoulder shrugs with sighs to uh, gather up tensions and then let them go. I'm going to breathe in on the way up. Just let that go. Shake it off. Let's do a couple more of those. Just get into it if you feel free enough to. I encourage you to try out some different sighs. See how they feel different. Let's do one more. I'm going to start with tipping the neck to the left. This is my left uh, ear towards shoulder. First of all of this, just reminding my shoulders to relax. <sighs> and then tipping that ear toward that shoulder. Maybe using your hand to encourage that to relax as well. I like that idea to give a little a little rub in there. I was just thinking I need to, need to find a good chair massage place that I can pop into. Maybe they have some of those again. <sighs> and <clears throat> tipping the right ear toward the right shoulder. And just smoothing the neck. Maybe giving that a little massage. Got a good size knot in there. Feels pretty good to give it a little attention. Mm, coming back to center. Shake that off. Let's go forward, chin toward chest. Just gently. I'm going to give that a breath or so. Maybe use the hands again. Just to encourage not to crank down on it or anything. Center. 
shake all that out a little bit. I'm going to do some slow circles. Just noticing all the kerchunks and clunks <laughs> where there's, I don't know if you saw that, where there's like hitches and giddy up in the, that's what I call them, uh, interruptions in the flow, um, limitations in the range of motion. Just noticing them, not judging them. Because the thing is, if you start checking in with your body more and more often, in a, in a curious way, a loving way, an attentive listening way, A lot of usually those will get better. A lot of times they'll get better. Sometimes they'll get worse, of course. As you learn to listen to your body and it you start to hear it. <laughs> Sorry that babble about. I'm gonna go the other way. Let me know in the comments if any of that made any sense to you at all. Maybe I got a little esoteric was making sense to me at the time. Got a lot of crunches in my day. Oh, I had a busy work day. I think I mentioned that already. Actually, it was relatively mellow, but I'm still fighting a flare-up, or she knows my language. Fighting's probably not a great way to approach a flare-up of autoimmune stuff because that is the body literally fighting itself or at least that's the current theory anyway um all that babbling aside let me rephrase and say um i have been navigating and learning to love my way through my most recent flare-up <clears throat> There you have some real time, real work there. I'm just, just like I mentioned, winding down, kind of check in with the neck, check in with the shoulders. <sighs> Let's do some more heavy sighing or light sighing, shall we? I challenge you, try at least three different sighs out loud. <laughs> <sighs> Breathing in and tensing up a little. Whoa. I don't know if that qualifies as a sigh, but I'm going to count it. It's not really a wrong way when it comes to sighing, is there? I don't know what you think. No more for me. I hope you're remembering to take good care of you because you are worth it. I hope you are uh, taking some time to continue to cultivate a loving, playful relationship with your body, with yourself. So I think uh, that works out on paper and reality and works out for you and for me. And for all of us. So uh, yeah, that's what I'm here to encourage you to do. I thank you for joining me. Check out the description if you want to find ways you can connect with me and support me. And until next time, peace.